Athena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another handbag video. This is a new brand that I have not used before. It's called Chala, C-H-A-L-A. It is a very environmentally and animal friendly bag line. Um, and a friend introduced me to it, a friend locally who had a nice handbag that they shared with me. And then I went and ordered some for myself. I did order three handbags and three wallets. And one of the wallets, um, didn't come so I I reordered it but anyway these were from Amazon and there's a wide assortment on there of these bags but you can see Chala right there C-H-A-L-A it is um, like a vegan leather it's faux leather but it feels just like a nice quality leather bag so it's, it's very very good quality and then you have these layered iconic critters on all of them and you can pick like I said from a wide variety of them so this is an olive, and so this one is called Fox Olive, um, go figure. But it just reminded me so much of that adorable Vera Bradley fox on the foxwood pattern. And so I kind of thought I could use some of those accessories with it, perhaps, we'll see. But it does have a nice, long, adjustable strap. It has a pocket right here, so just a slip pocket. And it goes about to here, down. It doesn't go all the way to the bottom. But nice, easy access. There also is a slim pocket on the back, which for me is a perfect phone pocket. So here's my phone. It fits very nicely right in there and it stands upright. It has some lateral space, so it could accommodate a lot more than just this. But it doesn't have a magnetic closure or anything. It's just a straight slip and I think it's totally fine, just exactly how it is. Um, okay, the strap is not removable. At least I don't think so. Here, hang on, now I'm curious. Um, no, because it doesn't unbuckle. So it's not removable, but it is adjustable. And it has these rings on it, so you can, you can hang bag charms and other things if you so desire. Um, and for the record, Shala has some adorable charms, which we're gonna get to a couple of them on the next two bags, but for now, Let's just look at this one. The zipper on top, it does have um, that tabbed end, you know, that you can tuck in. So it does extend all the way to there and open up. It also, you know, some small bags come to a point. This one does have a little extra like material there. So it gives you just a little more internal capacity when it doesn't come to a point, it kind of comes up and over. So that's a nice feature. Inside, we have the wallet that I bought with it which we'll look at. But there are two big slip pockets on the front and on the back, there's a zippered privacy pocket right there. So it's this cute brown with like, what if you call that? I would say a teal or mint green, um, but nice little pop of color in there just to kind of change it up and break up that interior darkness. And so it, it is semi-dark in there, but it's not so dark as you would think. It looks dark to you, but like looking into it, it's not so bad. So this is about a mailbag size bag, and I would definitely put it in that category with the mailbag hipster. It's a little bit smaller, I think, than the triple zip hipster, but depth-wise, it is definitely in that category as well. See, there, there's your depth of the bag. So very, very nice handbag. I'm really excited to give this a try, and a perfect day to try a bunch of new handbags because it's National Handbag Day. How about that? So, all right, so that is the Fox Olive. And I, I thought it would be really fun to get the matching wallet and try a new wallet because I know I need more wallets, right? But, but the wallets are so cute too. So it's a wristlet type wallet, so it has a strap. The strap is not removable and it is a rivet, it's not a snap. So it is fixed and that's the way it is. That is also the zipper pull. And on there you have this cute little faux leather charm with the button in it. So little flower that's super cute. Um, the bag and the wallet do match in all their colors and there's the same fox and it's not even sized down. It is like the exact same fox, which is proportionally very cool. I like that. So looking at the outside on the back, there is a zipper pocket. It is not gusseted. So it is a little bit of a slim trim getting in there. So for me, that would be coins only there's, or very thin things. It's, it's a skinny pocket. But then you open up the main pocket and it is sort of a lay flat design. 
it doesn't completely lay flat like when you open it you can see there's there's like a V in the back and I think that's just because the way it's designed the internal piece is a little bit shorter than the external piece so that when it closes it 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 keeps the bend in the middle I think it makes sense I'm sure it's intentional um, and I don't need it to totally lay flat as long as it opens up nicely and I can get into it I'm happy really happy so this has the same interior pop of polka dots it has two big slips so for me that's like one for my dollar bills and one for the receipts something like that it has two side slips so a slip there and a slip here so that's nice then on top you have <coughs> excuse me one two three four card slots on one side so four on this side including the clear id and then five on the other is that right one two three four five yeah seems like they would have an even number on both sides but they don't but anyway nine card slots that's quite a lot i'm sure you can double stuff them because the wallet itself is pretty big <coughs> sorry not sick <clears throat> just dry air dry tickly throat okay excuse me just a sec let me get a drink of water mm. okie doke so the next one, um, this is one of those times, I know I totally just said it if you watched my last video with the lug um, unbagging, but this bag was bigger than I expected because I did not even look at the dimensions. I just looked at the little silhouette girl that was on there and the depiction was not so accurate. It made it look smaller than it is. But this one is another, these are all Chala, by the way, all Chala. Chala Handbags is an advocate of animal rights and welfare. They donate 5% of their annual net profits to help animals in need throughout their charity partner, Heart and Home Animal Rescue Foundation. So this is Dusty Rose. I don't know what the name of the bag itself is called, but, but it's a nice big tote type handbag, or it, it is a slouchy bag, like it will just slouch over. I think when you put things in it, it will stand. It does not have feet, but it is, I mean, look at the base of this bag. So it is a pretty big bag, but it's like a rounded edge to it, so it kind of rolls around the side. Um, so excited about this because, as you know, I lost my sweet Lucy recently, and I, I mean, I'm doing okay, and Kelly is okay. Like today, she's kind of mopey, I don't know, but. I don't think it's because of Lucy. I think she's just bored because I've been busy. But like anything dog, I'm just like so drawn to, which I am anyway, but I'm just sentimentally drawn even more. And so that's what sucked me into Chala was just looking at the doggy stuff. And okay, I got a fox, but anyway. So looking at this bag, come to find out after I ordered this bag, I did see that they also had it in like a bluer color. I don't want to say blue or it's a blue or turquoise variant. Um, I'm not sure if I would have got blue or the pink-ish because it's like a blush color. But anyway, I really, really like it. I'm not a super pinky pink person, but I like this one. I think it's a nice contrast with the brown and the stripes and the materials contrast. This faux leather, I swear, it feels like a nice distressed leather, like super high quality. I don't know what they make that stuff out of, but... It's, it's good, and I hope it's as durable as it feels. But on the front, you have the, the Chala tag, which is metallic, and a little faux leather tag behind it. You have these faux leather things with the buttons, which is so cool. It says Chala all the way around as well, around that. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see that very well, but you can kind of see it. And then there's a pocket right here. So there's a zipper. It's kind of hidden. Pocket and the pocket, it goes to right about there and total top to bottom so it's kind of like that that section <laughs> the middle third of the bag but it's a nice hidden zipper and there you go it has this bag charm on it and of course this is what drew me so you could take it off you can put some other bag charm there you could put no bag charm but look at this charm it is it's on like a like a rustic brass or whatever fitting uh it's got the quick release clip it has a key ring so you could use it for other things or clip other things to it as well. It has the faux leather bone that says woof, and it has a little padding to it too, so you can see it has a little thickness, but it's super cute on its own little chain. And the other piece is, of course, the dog paw. With, it's just layers, um, layers, and it has these padded pads 
and where, where the paw would be padded so you can kind of see the depth there and then this chala heart on top it's just so cute and added to it the back is like a weave looking thing and it's a coin purse or whatever so it's a functional bag charm i just thought that was so cool and of course those come in a lot of different you know pieces of animals and whatnot so i just think that's so cool and the fact that I can use that now on other bags as well, that's awesome. I, I like that. I like multifunctional, multifaceted stuff. Yeah, so that's what it looks like on the front. Then when you look at the back, oh, straps over there. So then on the back, you also have one more zipper pocket going this way, and it's about yay big. So it goes about that much. So kind of the middle chunk of the bag right there. And it too is that same polka dot lining. So in both the front and the back. So this is kind of like a triple compartment bag. So your one compartment is here. There's a snap right there. And you have this compartment all the way. I mean the entire portion of the bag. So the strap, you can see, it's a nice, easy compartment. Nothing fancy about it, but very spacious, very easily accessible, and also secure with that. And when you're carrying it, you can carry it. These straps are a robust, um, I want to say like a cotton blend, but they're, they're, it's a robust weave. It's not nylon seat belty. It's got this nice V-shaped weave with the accent stitching down it. It's very high quality. I like it a lot and it's very comfortable to hold and it fits very comfortably on your shoulder like that. Or you can carry it on your arm or in your hand. Um, but yeah, so that same pocket is on the front and the back. So you have big compartment there and big compartment there. And both are snaps. I know I'm kind of jumping around. I hope you're following all this. And then the middle compartment has a zipper. So the zipper, and the zipper's a double zipper. It's kind of like the Vera zippers that we didn't like, those rough metal ones. Um, it's, it's okay, it's just a little not smooth to zip but it's not as not quite as scratchy as those ones. So yeah, so it's not my favorite kind of zipper, but it works just fine. And inside, first of all, you have on the side, you have a key leash. It's not an elastic bungee, it doesn't need to be, but it does have a clip on the end. So easy way to find your keys, you just go straight to that and slide down and there's your keys or your wallet or whatever you wanna hook onto that leash. Then you have two slips one and two, and then on the other side you have a zipper privacy pocket. So fairly simple, but a nice big roomy slouchy bag, and I'm really, I'm really excited actually, because I think I could fit my planners in one of these compartments super easy and still have a whole giant bag to work with, so that's super fun. All right, Whew. broke a sweat looking at that one. Whew. All right, so the next one is the wallet that I chose to go with that. Um, because it matches and it, it doesn't have the dog theme, but it does have you know the buttons and the colors that matches perfectly And this is a different style of wallet than we just looked at this one has a little sort of wristlet strap But it's the zipper pull and it's It's a bifold wallet. So there's your front and then the back is just plain and it has two zippers on the top But it's a snap between them so with them both zipped you can open up the wallet and you can see you got one, two, three, eight card slots right there. And then you have the slip behind each side, just like that. And then you can snap it and you can open just one side or you can open both sides, but you have two zipper compartments as well. So that's kind of cool. So it's just very different than any wallet that I own already, but then you can still hold it like a wristlet as well. Um, obviously my phone doesn't fit because it's not long enough. So it's definitely not a grab and go with that. But that being said, let's see. Nope, you can't even squeeze it in there. My phone is too wide. So that's not an option, but that's okay. You don't always need that every single time. All right, the last bag, I did get a wallet for this, or I, I'm sorry, I didn't get, I ordered, but 
I don't know what happened with it. It lost tracking a couple days ago and then disappeared, and so they refunded it. So now I just have to order it again, and hopefully it will come the second time. But it's the same style as the Fox Wallet, except that it's a gray background, and it's the paw print on the front. So same paw print that we just saw. Um, and I got that to go with this bag. And so, yeah, the gray and black, it matches. It made sense to me. So, um, again, this is Chala. This, it doesn't say, it doesn't say what type of bag. Let's see. <laughs> it's all coded. It, there's no words. It's just numbers. So, this is another big type bag. This is a tote type bag of sorts. It is a bit slouchy. It's that beautiful faux leather, whatever, that just feels really, really nice. These are rolled handles. They are rigid-ish. You know, they're kind of stiff, rigid, like a bowler type handle. But it has these rings, so it does lay down flat, which is kind of nice. And there we go. So the bag itself is, like I said, it's kind of like a tote. It does have a crossbody strap or shoulder strap. But these also fit very comfortably and very nicely, and you can hold it on your shoulder. They are slick though, so if you're not holding it, then you know they 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 slide. You know you're gonna get that. You're gonna get that all day long, I think, especially if you have like a slick top like I do right now. So even without these plastic things, I think that's gonna be a problem. So you're you're gonna constantly be fighting that strap. But that's okay because I'll probably carry a crossbody anyway. But same like the other, it has a slip pocket on the back for the phone. And it has a secret pocket on the front, right there. It's kind of, that, again, the middle third. So this one is a little bigger. Kind of, if you look at the bag, that middle section is that pocket. So that's kind of nice. Also on this bag, um, let me take the bag charm off so you can kind of see a little better. So this side is just like that smooth faux leather. Oh man, this is just so buttery soft. And then on this side, it's like a perforated, it's a different material. It's very similar. Maybe it's the same material, but it has these like perforations. I don't know what you'd call those. So it feels different, but I think it's the same material. It's just a different look. So it gives a nice textural contrast on the bag. And again, you have the little loop built in, so you can either use the bag charm or not. And this is just like the other one we looked at, the functional zipper. So if you want to change it up, if you have multiple charms, you can have dog print or fox or butterfly or turtle. You can change up your, have one bag and multiple charms. And I can use all my other bazillions of Vera and other charms as well. So I'm really excited about trying things out. Okay, so inside the bag, you have, first of all, you have the removable, adjustable strap, shoulder or crossbody. And it's hooked on right now. It's connected to the key leash, which is also faux leather. And it doesn't hook on the end. It hooks, it hooks on the side of the pocket. So that's fine. It's just wherever your leash is, that's where you go to find the rest of it. Um, that's the zipper thing. So there's your privacy pocket on the back. And that pocket is pretty decent size. It goes about two thirds of the way down and has a nice trim around it. So it gives it some structure to it to zip and unzip easier. On the other side, let me put this inside. On the other side, you have two big slip pockets and they are also trimmed on the top with that faux leather. So it gives it a little structure to the top, which is nice. But it's kind of a, it's kind of a nylon-y interior. So I think it would be a little bit wipeable, which is good. Yeah, okay, and then there's the zipper. It is like the tab style zipper. It's interesting how it's mounted right along the base and it doesn't go all the way across. There's like a big gap. The end of the zipper is right here and you have all this space not zip. That's sort of weird. It's kind of like that on both ends looking at where the zipper attaches. Let me see. Let's see. What... Yeah, so basically if I fold the end of the zipper down inside, I can totally reach my hands inside with the zipper closed. So it's sort of odd that the zipper is just that middle section. But I wonder if that is because there's another feature on the side of the bag 
So you can use the loops for that shoulder or crossbody strap, or you also can use it with these little loop snaps, and you can give the bag a different shape if you loop that through. I'm sure you've all seen this type of bag as well. Let me just see what this looks like. I probably wouldn't do this, it's not my thing. I like max capacity and standing tall. But, yeah, I think that might be why the zipper is the way it is, to allow for that shape when you hook those side, sides down. I'm just guessing, but maybe that's why. Because you can't get into the corners anyways, but maybe if the zipper somehow restricts that, I don't know. That's my only guess. Other than that, I don't know why that zipper would do that, but I'm gonna put this back to pull up. Yeah, so, unzip. I probably don't see myself zipping it much. Super fun, I'm really excited to try it. So, happy handbag day to me with all these new handbags to try. Now I gotta get online and order that other wallet to go with this. Um, I don't have to, but come on. I gotta have that paw print. Gotta have it, sweet Lucy. She said I could, so I'm going for it. And Kelly supports it. Don't you, Kelly? You wanna come here? You wanna come up? Come on. She's sleeping, I just woke her up. Come on. Yeah. She says happy, happy handbag day to you too. Oh, now you're gonna stretch, okay. Well, nice talking to y'all. Hope you're having a great day. Um, next up will be a what's in my bag transitioning. See you later. Bye for now. Don't forget to washi washi. Stay safe.